Welcome back. And today I want to talk about how to tell if someone's lying to you. We all have suspicions and intuition. We wonder, are we being lied to or is this person being genuine and honest? Stay through to the end and here's some simple, easy tricks to find out if your partner is lying. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. If you know your significant other well enough, you know a little bit about how they tend to talk, how they tend to act. Look for changes in how they're moving. So in other words, if they get more fidgety, they stop looking you in the eye. When they tend to look you in the eye and they tend to be still, that could be a sign that they're lying, right? Or if they're always still and then they start fidgeting, right? Vice versa, anytime they're changing something gross and dramatic, that could be a sign that they're lying. Look for their breath. But above all, if they're making eye contact, look at their eyes. <clears throat> Start paying attention right now when people are talking to you, especially those that you know well. What direction are they looking when they're accessing information or when they're making up things? Look at their eyes if you know them well enough. So as they're telling you stories, different people will access information in different spots. But in general, if they are looking up and to the left, as you look at them, in other words, they're right, you're left, and they're looking that direction, chances are they're constructing something, they're making something up, they're imagining something. And if they're looking up and to the right, you're right, they're left, they're remembering something. Now this isn't true with every individual because sometimes our brains are organized a little bit differently. But pay attention when they're telling you their day-to-day -day stories. If they're thinking about what happened last week or two months ago, look at what direction they look because that's the way they're accessing memories. And then usually the opposite direction is the way that they're creating, they're imagining things. So you can start looking at, are they lying or not by which direction their eyes are moving? Pay attention, are they changing their tone of voice? What's your gut feeling about what they're saying? And if you're in doubt, start asking them very specific questions. Not in a way that's really accusatory, but if they're telling you a story like, oh, where were you? Oh, I was at the store and then I just went and picked up a couple things. Oh, really, what did you pick up? Were there other people at the store? How busy was it? What, what was else was on sale? And you can start asking questions that they should know if they were in that spot but do it with a curious mind, right? Not an accusatory one, because they might be telling the truth, even if some of their body language looks different. So how to tell if someone's lying comes down to paying attention to how you're sensing that they're telling the story, right? Making sure that you're not making up stories in your own head because you're feeling insecure or jealous or wondering, but really how are they reacting? Can they tell the same story? Can they tell really big details of whatever it is they said they did or they didn't do? Because a lot of people don't bother to make up a lot of details about any story that they tell. So if you're asking them more details and they can easily and effortlessly tell you details, chances are they're telling the truth. And if they can't, or if their story keeps being different, that could be an indicator that they're lying. But above all, if you don't trust your partner, if they keep betraying and breaking your trust over and over again, that might be a good time to think about changing your relationship. So follow that gut, follow your heart. Know that you're loved, you're loving, and you're lovable, and you deserve the truth. Until next time.